everyone, Craggy here again. Uh, I'm back from TF Nation. Still got my wristband on, but that's only because I didn't tighten it too tight. So, we can take it off. Having that thing on all weekend. Um, other than that, the con was very good. Uh, it was great to meet up with everyone. Um, see people that I hadn't seen before, get to spend a bit more time with people that I have. Yeah. Um, really good. I didn't I didn't really go to any panels or anything. Um, I went in the dealer room and I went to the bar. And I did go to see the cars and the display cabinets. I've done some slideshows of the pictures I've taken of some of that stuff. So I'll either stick that at the end or just a, a link to it. Um, but yeah, I got there after a long, long journey on Friday and for the first hour or so after I'd got there, very frazzled. Uh, I wasn't, I wasn't with it at all. Um, I soon got to my room, had a shower and was ready to go. Um, feeling a lot more human after that, uh, a bit rested uh, and able to, to start doing things. First purchase was, on the Friday night, it was, oh Helen, a whole lot of Silver Surfer comics from the, the 80s and 90s. Um, there's, there's a lot of, like, it jumps from issue to issue. But there is a lot that are, that are close by, and a lot of like Ron Lemart. Uh, so I'm I'm looking to get stuck into these. It's the sort of era where I had a lot of Guardians of the Galaxy, um, the original Guardians of the Galaxy, um, comics. And I remember at the time because they were so disconnected from the rest of the Marvel universe. It was a load of stuff that I just didn't know about. Um, Silver Surfer is a little bit closer linked to the mainstream Marvel Universe, but looking through that, I mean, a, a good lot of it is just totally out there stuff, um, not anything to do with any of the stuff that I, I've heard about or know about, so it'll be interesting to get stuck into that and see what's going on. I spent the rest of the Friday just chilling out with people, um, catching up with some folk, and just seeing who everyone was there and how drunk everyone was getting. I took it quite easy on the, the Friday, but... We'll see that things changed. Um, a glass of Energon, uh, except that was Raspberry Aid from the shop, which was 99p instead of £4 for a soft drink at the Hilton and £7 odds for a, a glass of vodka. And yeah, I think I made the right decision to take my own booze. Um, the the bar was okay, but it was good to to have that backup option. Uh, it may save some money for bots. So I took it easy on the Friday. I was woke up early on the, the Saturday, got breakfast, stocked up on breakfast, still no tax guns. Uh, but the, the rest of the breakfast was good. Um, waited about um, until when did it open? Nine? About five, ten past nine. And then went round to the, the room to see if people were still queued up. There was people queued up, but there were people that were just coming for that day. And one of the men said, one of the men's, man's, important. Uh, one of the people, one of the staff um, said, right, anyone that's got the, the wristband already, head on in. So I literally walked to the door and walked in. I'm sure there was maybe 50, 100 people got in before me. And so they were able to get the Fort Maxes that were at the top of the pile. Um, other than that, now there wasn't anything. There was things I was wanting, but I was sure there were things that were going to be there, uh, and probably in multitudes. So, yeah, I wasn't too bothered about getting in um, and queuing up. Particularly, it was the the main thing I wasn't. I don't stand well, uh, and so I was happy just to walk in. Ten minutes after opening, go around and get some stuff. 
Uh, I had been kind of itching to get on the buy-in um, from the Friday night, just seeing people playing with other stuff and um, seeing what everyone had. So let's see what I got on the, the Saturday. First thing I did, pretty much first thing I did, first thing I went and did was look at Toifu, see if they had a taco tank. They didn't. Something else caught my eye, uh, but I thought, right, I'll see what else I can get. I was there for, and just walked right across the Kapow, got myself a Skylynx. A little wobbly. Uh, yeah, got myself a Skylynx, because he was the last Combiner Wars thing that I really kind of wanted. I'm going to combine them probably once, just for the crack, but he's not, he's not getting combined. Um, I also picked up this little beauty, uh, Skull Cruncher, uh, the Takara Skull Cruncher, Cause Bisto yet he made me do it. Um, yeah, uh, the the extra paint on the headmaster, the the lovely translucent tongue, and uh, the little little birdie, uh, little seeing better on there, little dragon bird. Who as a dragon is very Lockheed from the X Men. Um, he was he was on the list, and so were uh, just as I was I was getting them. Uh, the man at the Kapow stall that was serving me was like, "Oh, anything else?" And uh, he was he was trying to he was telling me how much it was, and, and he was like, "Is there anything else?" And I picked up this guy, hard head, and handed him across. And then he's like, "Right, okay, that's." And I was like, "Hold your horses! I uh, you want one of these and one of these wheelie and rewind." Uh, those were basically my goals because there wasn't any wave two Titans return. Uh, so, it was all the way one that I could get that I wanted, and yeah, really happy with most of them. Uh, wheelie's fun, but very flimsy. Uh, Rewind is a good robot. Uh, the others, the others are good. The others are, are all really good. Um, there's no complaints on those. Um, so that was. That was me, sort of mission accomplished. I got the things that I really wanted. Um, there was no no Lord Scorpion up, so uh, I didn't have to worry about getting him. Um, so yeah, that was that was the must-haves. Um, basically, the stuff that I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get that. I'm definitely gonna get those. There was some other stuff that I had thought about. And again, I had it on the list, but it wasn't going to be the end of the world if I didn't get it. But, going back to Kapow, seeing this little guy. What, Con Pyro? Well, Sparks. It's Pyro. Um, and his missile's popped out somewhere. It is in there. He's fighting fire with fire. Um, yeah, what this guy for a while. He was one of the on toys that I really did want. Um, I've, I've had a couple other ones at various points, but uh, this guy I'd seen a couple of times. Um, I've seen him last year, uh, but I had my eyes sort of set on the the Scorpionok um, from the other box set. Uh, so I, I didn't actually end up getting either of the two of them, um, but I've seen him this year. 50 quid. I thought, yeah, I'm not really likely to get another chance at him at that sort of price. Let's get him. So that was more than enough for me to be happy with on the Saturday but then I was going about in and out the bar, in and out the room, went back to the room and realised as I was going for a little rest I was like mm, I still have money left uh, I hadn't actually taken all my first day's funds down with me to the dealer room. So I went back down and seen what I could get. So I picked up just, just rummaging through boxes. Just got a bunch of random box. Um, actually, Bill sold me that. Um, I got some Power Gold Combiners. I got Universe uh, Purple. Silver bolt. Uh, he is actually missing his arms, uh, but you know what? He's still a griffin. He's still a purple griffin. Purple griffin for the win. 
Um, I got myself some deployers. Really like. This little guy. He won't go away now. Because he's little. He's a little bird. And then. Oh, he shoots. A catapult over his ass. Pretty cool. Um, even just for bird mode though. He's, he's really good. Um, yeah. They, they were like three quid each. Um, I wouldn't have paid more than that for them. And I, I doubt anybody else probably would have either. But. Um, for three quid, yeah, can't go wrong. Wanted these guys for a little while um, because just they're a weird thing and they're beast machines and yeah, let's let's have some of that. Uh, got some stuff off wilderness. Uh, see, we're selling a bunch of gear. Uh, what did I get? I think some of the power core combiners. I think those power core combiners might have been his. Um, I'm sure this was um, a little human alliance. Um, and some energon, energon dive bomb, and energon signal flare, not signal answer, signal flare. Uh, I might actually already have this guy, but he's so good, I thought I'll pick him up again. Uh, and I know I've definitely got this guy. But for, fi for fiver for the pair, yeah, couldn't really say no to that. And this guy was fiver on his own. But human alliance, love them, gotta have them. Um, what else did I get? I had a rummage uh, through some boxes, uh, which is where I got the uh, silver bolt. Uh, and, and I picked up the real gear. Picked up a, a watch. Um, I can actually get him closed around me. It doesn't work though. It's terrible. Had ones back in the 80s that could work. Not in my day. Yeah, he's pretty cool. He's got a fancy little thing where uh, when you fold up something on him somewhere, the head pops out. Yeah, for this was what, a fiver? Something like that. It was at ID Toys. And whilst I was there, or a little bit later, Got my MP hot rod. This is this is a bot that I was after. I was reluctant because I'd heard some bad things about him. Everyone that I spoke to had mentioned him, said he's fucking amazing. So yeah, why why not? I mean, I, he is a really nice robot. But look at that car. They've nailed the hot rod car, uh, and it's the car mode that really sold hot rod on me. Um, he does come with a fishing line and a pizza cutter. Um, they're cool, I suppose. And one of the last things that I got, in fact possibly the last thing that I got on the Saturday, uh, was Robot Masters Leo Convoy. Wanted one of these for a while, and hadn't really seen one, not at any sensible price anyway. Um, this was 28 um, Yeah, picked them up. Um, I seen one boxed the next day for 35 yeah, I didn't need the box. This guy's complete. He's in good condition. He's he's pretty awesome, and he kind of has the back of the card there. Couldn't couldn't really complain. Then went back to my room. Got some drinks. Uh, got some vodka. And went to the room with the boys, and. By the time the TF Nation panel, oh, well it was TF Nation, but the TFYTC panel rolled around, I was quite sozzled. Then I didn't go to any evening stuff, but I managed to stay in the bar, in and out. Found out it was four o'clock that I, I went to, or thereabouts that I went to bed, which Okay, I, I remember last time I remember looking at it, quarter past, no, quarter to two, one forty-five in the morning, and apparently it was around four that I went to bed, so, 
That'll explain why the next day, the barman goes, ah, vodka and lemonade. I'm like, yeah. He's like, you be having a lot of these tonight? I was like, probably not. Why? So, yes, he, the, that same barman must have been on the night before and must have enjoyed um, all the the money that was coming his way. Or the, the bar's way, I suppose. Um, so I was a little bit... I was fine when I woke up on Sunday. And then I had breakfast. And then it sort of kicked in. But I still made it into the dealer room relatively early. And I powered put out a bunch of pre-owned stuff. Uh, so I picked up Sideswipe and Sunstreaker from Classic Line. 15 quid each. I'm used to seeing them go for 30. I was happy to to pay that for them and and finally get these guys uh, they're they're pretty good uh, they're not they're not the best I mean I have masterpiece side swipe so and by comparison this guy does suffer but it's nice to have the two of them in the scale yes didn't really do much for the rest of that day up until about lunchtime when everything kicked back in um, I had enough rehydration and I was feeling good again. I was feeling fine, ready to go, fighting fit. Uh, so I went round and just started buying up, just a, just a rake through stuff, buying up random things, little small little things. Um, I got bot shots off Optimus here for the trailer mainly, but uh, this is okay, I suppose. Um, this was two pound off the pound. Um, I also got some other stuff off Kapow, but I don't know if it's in there, in here, I'm sure I bought, I bought something else that was like a couple of quid. it later at some point in here. Um, so yeah, uh, then I went and got a few things from ID Toys again. They had a box with many cons and legends and micro masters for three for five pound. Uh, I think it was two quid each, something like that, and then three for five pound. This guy, who is probably a Cybertron toy, but Probably, well, definitely a movie repaint of him since he's got Sector 7 logo. He's pretty cool. He's not a minicon or a legends. He is definitely a little scout. So, when uh, This is an Ironhide, I believe, from the movies. He's pretty cool. Very interesting transformation, especially for the size. And the reason that I actually delved into the box in the first place. Um, knockout. Prime Knockout in orange lovely orange I can't transform him but he's, he's I should be able to transform him really it's not that difficult yeah that's that's close enough he's giving a bit of a bit of sass um, yeah there we go so yeah delved in for him and I was like uh, I'll see what else I can get uh, the big chunky guy pretty much sold me on getting three um, so that was fine went to, well I went there later on, I went, there later on. Um, I went to all the cool stuff to get some Vitruvian hacks because I had been looking at that, all the cool stuff uh, and seeing the Vitruvian hacks and yeah uh, them and ID Toys both had hacks uh, they only had the, the pre-carded ones at ID Toys uh, all the cool stuff had like loads of stuff um, so yeah I got I got some got Steno Steno snake hair lady um, a gorgon youngest the oldest the oldest gorgon sister um, and I got a blank which was a man a naked naked man uh, in man colours But 
I bought one of the accessory packs. I bought the black one, the bone one, um, which comes with all that stuff. And I was playing with it in the bar, and Bisto Yeti, he explained to me, well, which I kind of already seen, but he, he kind of reminded me that you get enough stuff in the box for two figures, one male and one female. So I kind of had to get a female one as well. And then I bought some more accessory packs so we could mix, mix and match the colours. Um, so I've got the black accessory pack there. And the blood red one. Really, really like the Vitruvian hacks. They're like G.I. Joe's. Um, obviously fantasy themed. Um, but, yeah, they have basically what a G.I. Joe you would want to be uh, if you didn't have a budget. Um, now, Whilst I was there, looking through all the boxes of stuff, well, all the, the shelves of stuff, I seen there was a, uh, a drawer, basically, a, a box at the side, um, which had bags of stuff in them. And I didn't, know, I didn't know what was in the bags at first, and then I looked properly and I realised there were mini boglins. So, fiver for a set. Uh, I had to look for the army team because I remember these from when I was young. I remember get, buying so many boxes of Frosties to get free ones. Uh, yes, many Boglins. Not something that I had intended to pick up or even expected to see, but you know, just a little bit of nostalgia. Just had to, had to pick them up and see what they were like. Um, be reminded of what they were like because I have had them before. Uh, yeah. Not not a, a proper important purchase but something that was just a bit of fun i was excited to get um and, and fun to, to have and remember them um, also ended up back at id toys for another vitruvian hack a snake lady she's a snake and she can stand on her tail uh, with a couple of different poses uh, at least so far that i've found um, I bought a Gundam, it's all painted up now, um, it's the EX standard red frame astray SD version, um, so lovely little, look, like really posable, for, uh, the first SD that I've had but I've seen reviews of them and they're mostly just an arm at each side and a leg and a body and a head and that seems to be about the extent of a lot of them uh, this guy's got fairly, fairly decent range of posability he's got elbows he's got hands, individual hands and in individual feet um, he's he's pretty cool um, there was a fair bit of work to get him looking quite as colourful as he is here um, but still um, that, was, that was fun in itself um, I enjoy that with a Gundam sometimes just colouring it all in. So yeah, I was I was happy to to finally get something like that I could do some work on when I got home. Um, that was from the Gundam Mag guys. Uh, I picked up a G.I. Joe um, mainly because it's Budo. He's a, a samurai warrior uh, with his samurai helmet there. Which you can't see at all. But yeah, samurai helmet um, and you can take some of his gear off and make him a little bit more poseable uh, and he comes with two swords and I thought he'll go nice with the hacks so that was that was him um, the Vitruvian hacks there's, there's one of the, the blanks uh, accessories you get three different heads on them four different heads four different heads uh, three sets of feet and two sets of hands in the, uh, just as a standard and then you get all the the extra accessories and stuff that you can put on them. The ones that you buy that are already coloured do come with a range of accessories uh, but maybe not the same number of accessories. Yeah, then I went and got some more stuff. I went to the Space Bridge. Actually, no. First I went to Sid's Toys. 
picked up an erector and yeah I got an okay price on him he's very very tight um, the, the price was maybe a little bit higher than I would have expected but then he has a, an internet famous personality now um, so it's sometimes a little bit difficult to get a hold of him um, he's, he's in demand um, so yeah I, I was happy to get a Rector I have had him before I had the G1 when it first came out so it was nice to get a another one um, it, it, this one's much much tighter than my original um, and yeah it's just a fun little little playset he'll go well with some of the new Titan Master stuff coming out um, that's what I was kind of thinking I, I needed to get some Micro Masters for um, just to to continue that sort of trend with the new stuff so I got him and then I decided I would have to get something else. I went to Spacebridge I got the modern Big Daddy version um, which admittedly isn't great like there's a lot of good stuff going on but this bit feels very fragile and there was something else. He didn't come by any missiles which it said on the bag I didn't care uh, I really, uh, I didn't want something else to lose. I didn't need something else to lose. Uh, so that was fine. Uh, I got him. And I thought, I'll see what else I can get. Round it up. Uh, I've got Wreckage, because I got Bludgeon last year. And Bludgeon's amazing. So uh, I wanted the, the Arctic Camo version. Who is very Megatron. Um, I actually heard that he was originally uh, concept made from concept art that was originally for Megatron. Uh, I also, whilst I was looking at the Space Bridge, seen this set which was £15 and it was this little human alliance bikey thing, trike I suppose, um, a bumblebee Sheila Booth. A little plastic Sheila Booth. Well, I didn't realise it was Sheila Booth when I bought him. I bought him for this. Um, the bee was actually quite interesting in that I couldn't transform it because there was stuff that locked in place uh, if you didn't do it in the right order. Uh, so eventually I managed to get it, but that was that was this year's Slug Slinger. Pretty much the last thing I bought, in fact definitely the last thing I bought, was some more power core combiners. Um, this guy is okay, um, the colours he's in are alright, but I quite actually like his, his little limbs. Um, they're little Mad Max style guys, and um, this guy might get a paint job to match uh, to try and improve him. Or, uh, we'll see what happens. That, was, that wasn't the last thing that I bought. We're, we're, the last thing that I bought is something else. Yes, here we are. Last thing that I bought is Legends Shockwave and Legends Chip Shop. Seen these guys at ID Toy on the way out. Remembered that I hadn't got Shockwave. I hadn't actually really seen him all weekend. Um, someone had him on Friday night and he looked really cool. Chip Shop. Well, he just really appeals to me. I like the original flavour version of him. Um, the whatever. Shrapnel? Um, kickback. Some Insecticon. Uh, but I thought I'll get the... I'll get the red one. Because he's really cool as well. And I'm not buying the Fans Project one. Um, so all in all... I didn't even mention... I didn't even mention... At some point... I went and bought this off to Pow as well because it looks so much better than the one in the three pack, which I was really surprised by because the pictures made it look the other way. Um, but brainstorm and one other thing: shotgun Dracula.
I was looking at Uncle Pow. There was three of them. Matt and DL went and bought one and then the other. So there was only one left. So I had to get it. And he's bloody lovely. Uh, I, I sort of resigned myself to just getting the the Hasbro one. And I might still get the Hasbro one. But Shotgun Dracula here. Fans Project. Sigma L. Mind Wipe. Bobby Roo. He's... He is. He is. He's a little bit, a little bit loose uh, from the jiggling. Uh, but... He's, he's so good. Uh, the bat mode, this all becomes the back of the bat and it's all glowy and green and across and just, well, so nice. So I bought a bunch of cool shit. Um, but I could have bought the stuff that I bought Friday, no, Saturday morning. I could have bought that stuff and it would have been happy. Like, I, I could have quite happily, like last year, I didn't have an awful, awful lot of money. I still bought about 10, I think 10, 12 bots, something like that. I obviously bought a crap ton this year, and I bought loads the year before, but I didn't need, I would have been happy to just buy that initial haul. Would have probably got a Gundam uh, of some kind, and... Then just yeah, maybe just a couple of bits and pieces, the little small things, uh, just something that's sort of keep me going throughout the weekend, just to be like I got something new. Um, I had been looking at things much more expensive than what I actually got. I'd been looking at things much larger and more difficult to get home uh, than what I actually got. And yeah, I could have went and done something stupid like that. I could have I could have got a Fort Max um, for. Like, that would have been my Sunday spending. I would have gotten Fort Max and I would have been... Right, let's go play with Fort Max then. Um, I, I think I did very well with what I got. But at the end of the day, after that initial sort of rush of going around and being like, oh, look at all these cool things. That wasn't the focus of the weekend. Like, I got there on a Friday and I was I was happy to see everyone. But then I did get that. Oh, I need to buy a toy itch. But that was just from seeing everyone else playing. I could have just spent the weekend chilling out with everyone and just just enjoying the atmosphere. I'll be entirely honest. If you weren't arsed about the actual toys, like buying toys, you might as well just go anyway. Just book a room at the Hilton, or even somewhere nearby, but book a room at the Hilton if it's going to be at the Hilton. Um, it means you can go to bed at four o'clock in the morning and don't have to worry about how to get home or get a taxi or any of that. You get your breakfast as well, which is, is pretty good. Um, Get, get your room at your at the Hilton if you're not worried about buying toys or you've got other people that you're buying stuff of, off of beforehand uh, some private dealings in rooms which happened um, yeah just do it anyway just go and fucking have a, a laugh just chill out with people say hi to people if you want to say hi to them try and fit in to speaking to everyone, I mingled around between a few different groups, uh, and yeah, there was there was a lot of times where I was like, oh, I don't really have time to go and chat to this person, or oh, I'll see them later, and you never do that sort of thing. Like that, that can be a pain, um, but then there's always next year. There's people that you well, you want to see, you don't always get a chance to see properly. I, I managed to see a fair few people for a, a decent amount of time and yeah I gave I'd, I'd made I'd done sketches for people certain people um, that had maybe been very welcoming to me in the, the past few years that 
auto assembly. Um, so I was I wanted to give something back, uh, and I thought, okay, what can I give people that's unique and that I I know they don't have, uh, because that's often a problem uh, with maybe try to gift something to someone, is that like they quite often are going to have it. So I thought, I'll get someone something that's unique. Um, I'll do some sketches and those people that I gave those sketches to it was because at previous times you've been very um, very welcoming and enhanced my my con experience um, and, and really encouraged me to come back and keep enjoying this um, so I was I was happy to, to do that and it was good to see some people's reactions uh, when they, they got handed their sketch. Some people knew, I'd had told a couple of people what I was doing but most people it was a, a surprise and it was quite, it was quite nice to see um, the reactions that some people gave um, and yeah, that that was really nice I and mean, that, that is probably one of the better parts of the weekend was being able to do that and, and see people be like oh Oh, that's cool. Oh, I didn't like some people didn't even know that I I drew. I I don't post an awful lot on Facebook or or anything about the fact that I I I mean sometimes I don't do it all for ages, but then sometimes I'll get the urge to knock out a bunch of different pictures very quickly. Um, over the last week, I I sort of decided yeah I want to I want to do this thing for TFN um. So I, I tried to pick people's favourite characters of the, of those people whom I knew. Um, and I, I, I think I did a pretty good job of that. Thankfully, a lot of us on uh, YouTube and on the various different Facebook groups are relatively... I want to say obvious um, or predictable uh, we tend to make note of robots or characters or whatever that we do really like um, especially if it is somebody you've chatted to before uh, you get an idea of what they like and yeah I mean not everyone maybe always goes on about their, their favorites but you get an idea you do and even if maybe it's not their number one favorite character you do have an idea of well that's that's someone that they like that's something that I can I can give them that they're going to be into um, so I was I was happy to be able to do that it was a nice a nice thing when everyone got all their their sketches um, and then posting their their pictures online uh, saying the things that they've got their, their haul pics and I was like ah oh, that's my that's my picture um, so that was nice. Um, there was a lot of people I would have liked to see more. Um, there was there was guys that I met for maybe half an hour, or a couple hours, or ten minutes um, that I maybe would like to spend more time with. Um, there was there was a people that I seen in and out. Um, there's the people that I I spoke to a lot that I'll be entirely honest. I don't know who they are. I mean I maybe know them for their first name, um, or. Like I could pick them out a lineup, and some of the people I spoke to, I might have to do that one day. Um, <laughs> it's just, uh, yeah. If if I chatted to you, um, if we were interactive at TFN, um, and we don't already have a connection, um, hit me up on the Facebook or on Twitter here. Put a message on and say, hey, I was this guy or this is what we talked about oh I was there when you bought that bot or whatever um, do you remember between two o'clock and four o'clock on Saturday morning that sort of thing uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah hopefully we'll do it all again next year I had a really good time it was not run like a first year con at all it was a professional thing um, it was, obviously there's a lot of veterans of running cons um, conventions not I mean maybe there was a lot of veterans of running cons but there was a lot of veteran convention runners 
um, that were involved in it. So it was, yeah, it was good to, to probably give them a chance to to stretch their the limits of what they could do and and try and deliver something. I mean, I would like to see more. I would like to see a variety of different things. Um, I thought it was really nice that they had the GoBot stuff this year and the Rock Lord stuff. Um, it's not something that I was particularly bothered about, but that little GoBots display in the display case, that was cool to see. Um, little variations between the different releases and stuff like that. Um, it was very nice to have the third party stuff. Um, the previews of things that are coming out. The prototypes on display, that was really nice. The Beast Wars display, I particularly liked, apart from the fact that I feel some of the stuff that would maybe even put in those cabinets would have been for sale if it wasn't, and I could have bought some of them. Uh, I do like my Beast Wars. I do like my Beast Wars. I've gone on for 40 minutes now, waffle the load of shite. This is probably what it was like on Saturday if you were at the bar with me. Um, either that or I was in a coma and quiet and special shout outs the boys you know who you are Paul and John Ben and John Stu Smezno Bisto Chris and Nat probably forgot someone Sammy, you should spend more time seeing you next year. Um, but just be do it now. I don't know. Um, I, pretty much everyone I spoke to, everyone I spoke to was pretty sound. Um, if I got the impression that you weren't, I probably didn't speak to you. But don't take that bad. If you want to speak to me next year, speak to me. Um, and we can hang out, and then I'll probably be distracted and go speak to somebody else, or somebody else will come over and speak to you. I have rambled for far too long now, three quarters of an hour. If I was going to edit this video, I would go back to the start of the toys and say, brace yourself, it's a long one. But I'm too lazy to edit that. So you're just going to have to put up with this. If you've made it this far, then pff, fair play to you. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, you can subscribe if you haven't already. And you can do thumbs up and thumbs down like some kind of Roman Emperor or something. I won't actually be killed if you press thumbs down though, so just before you put that in the comments. Um, yeah, good, t good TFN. I would like lanyards because this thing was a pain. But other than that, it was good. Oh, cars, the forge, the video game guys. All that was really cool. Uh, I went around and seen all that stuff. Um, I keep remembering other things. Not much about Saturday night, but I keep remembering other things uh, and other people I spoke to and other malarkey that was going on. It seemed like pretty much everyone I know had a really good time. Um, most people don't think really wanted it to end, um, but yeah, it was really good. Um, also, special shout out to Alex for sharing a room with me again. Um, that was very helpful. Um, <laughs> and that was fun. And I will see you in November for Thought Bubble. Uh, other than that, everyone else, if we don't see you before then, I will see you next year. Have a good one.